our lead story of the day is regarding today's White House press briefing where reporters show up and push back big time on the White House regarding Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and their business dealings. And the White House is going dark on it all, folks. Before we get into any of the craziness, support a true American patriot by hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave us a short, sweet comment down below. The question of the day is, do you think Hunter Biden and Joe Biden should be indicted or at least investigated regarding this whole thing? I think I know your answers, but let us know. In the comment section below and also head over to baldbrad.com or any of the links in the description and pick yourself up a copy of trojan horse how the left is destroying america it exposes the democrat party and progressives left's agenda in destroying this great nation of ours pick yourself up a copy today also become a true american patriot by joining us in the join tab below we would love for you to be a part of our community without further ado we got reporters here leading the brigade on asking questions about Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, Joe Biden being the big guy in the Burisma dealings and receiving $5 million, allegedly. Let's go ahead and roll it. Thank you as always, Admiral, thank you. The House Ways and Means Committee yesterday released documents, their authenticity nowhere challenged. Uh, that included a July 2017 WhatsApp message sent by Hunter Biden to Henry Zhao, a Chinese Communist Party official, which stated in its entirety, and I quote, I am sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Tell the director that I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand, and now means tonight. And Z, if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other than you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows, and my ability to forever hold a grudge, that you will regret not following my direction. I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father, unquote. So just a couple of questions about this. First, does this not undermine uh, the president's claim during the 2020 campaign and the reaffirmations of that claim by his two press secretaries since then that he never once discussed his son's overseas business dealings with him? No, and I'm not going to comment further on this. We're good. We're good. I'm not. James, James, let me just, let me save you some, let me save, let me save, let me save you some breath. If you're going to ask about this, I am not. He said no, by the way. I don't, I know you do more than I'd like you to have. I am not going to address this issue from this podium. I'm just not. Of course do you're not, John. I'm not going to do it. Where was the president? Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Look at that, huh? Thanks, guys. Look Have how a great quick week. Kareen interjects there. Look how quick John Kirby steps off that podium when James Rosen asks a phenomenal question. And it doesn't just stop there, folks. It doesn't just stop there. We're going to keep going here because there is a long list of back-to-back-to-back -back -back questions about Hunter Biden and Joe Biden as well as their business dealings. If you recall, Joe Biden had no clue about all this. Joe Biden's not the big guy. Joe Biden's not the chief. None of these things that are in emails, now text messages and all the stuff being leaked out. The White House is going dark on this. This is reminiscent of when you had the the documents, the classified documents in Joe Biden's garage at the Biden Penn Center and all these other places, like almost 2,000 documents just scattered everywhere. He goes to Ireland. There's documents lying in the streets of Ireland as well. And the White House did the same charade that you're about to see of, hey, you got to talk to the White House counsel. Oh, you got to talk to the DOJ. You got to talk to this guy. You got to talk to that guy. Because no matter where the press goes, they're not getting their questions answered. I need to highlight something really important. I know some people don't want to hear the man ramble, meaning me, but you need to catch on to this. What this White House and this administration does, it's very important that you get this. What they do in the briefings is they don't want you to know information. And so they tell people, go talk to the White House counsel. Go talk to the DOJ. And so the reporters will want to get her to say what the White House counsel and the DOJ said on the podium, and they won't do it because they're trying to hide it from all of you. That is what they're doing. So catch on to that as we go through this. Let's go ahead and roll it. Secondly, um, the president invited his son Hunter to the state dinner last night. Um, I'm wondering if you could take us into the thinking and decision making of why uh, the president decided to invite I, his son. I'm just not going to get into family discussion. Watch how things get spicy discussion. here in a moment. As you know, Hunter is his son. I'm just not going to get well, into let me it. Ask you this. If, if Hunter Biden wasn't the president's son, would he have invited someone who had just reached a plea agreement with federal prosecutors well, two days earlier? Well, a couple of things. Again, that's his son. 
It's a, he's a family member. It is not uncommon for family members to attend uh, events at the White House. You could look at past presidents. I'm sure you have. So that is not uncommon. Uh, as it relates to anything uh, uh, related to, uh, to Hunter, I'm just not going to respond to it from here. Oh, why not? Can I follow up on that? Okay. No, I just called in somebody. Go ahead. Yeah. So, but I mean, so Kirby wouldn't answer James's question, though. Are you going to answer the question? I mean, not, not a reasonable question to ask no, with the President I, of the United States who's we, involved, as this message seems to suggest, in some sort of a coercive conversation for business dealings by a son. Is that something, <clears throat> if he wasn't, then maybe you should tell us. So that. here's the thing, I, and I appreciate the question. I believe my colleague uh, at the White House Council uh, has answered this question already, has dealt with this, has uh, uh, made it very clear. I just don't have anything to share outside of my, what my colleagues have shared, uh, and so I would refer you to him and the, share and the DOJ. Share it on the podium. Notice she's not going to do that. It does get brought up here. She does not share what the White House Council said on that podium, which is odd because the American people watch this stuff and the reporters know that the, re the American people don't doesn't watch the White House Council. Nobody, no, nobody has information on that. You have to like deep into articles and search for it. It's so ridiculous. Such a cover just up. Not going to comment from here. I will. What I can tell you is I know that my colleague has dealt with this. He he uh, addressed this at the White House Council. I just don't have anything else to share. I just I just, I just answered the question. I just answered the question. Yes or no? Was the president involved in the shakedown attack? No, I just answered. Yes no, yes no, Stephen. Stephen, I just answered the question. I just oh, said, I just, this is, it's not up to you how I answer the question. I just answered the question by telling you my colleagues at the White House Council has dealt with this, and I would refer you to them. Go ahead. Can you just remind us what your colleague said from the White House Council so we have it? I would, I, would, I would refer you to them, and they will share their statement with all of my you. My question is about is your anything? statements from that podium. There's a lot of pushback happening, folks, and we'll continue. But do you see the cover up here? Do you see how they're going dark? They did the exact same messaging. We covered all five leaks here on the Bald Brad channel with the, not just the not just the White House counsel, not just the DOJ, not just the National Archives, but also her and Joe Biden going dark in this whole thing, pulling the same type of crap where they sat there and go, Oh, you gotta talk to this person. And so you have the reporters. And rightfully so, going, hey, can you can you just tell us what they said on the podium here? And they won't do it. The reason why they did the exact same thing with these documents, these classified documents, and they kept referring them to other people and they weren't getting their questions answered. And then when there was something that was answered, it was never on the mic. They will not do it on the podium. They went so far as to finally get some guy out there from the council with these classified documents outside to finally answer questions. And it took them weeks to do it. This is a cover up, you guys. They're going dark on this whole thing. Be prepared for something to happen later on. We'll see, because Hunter Biden just got like a freaking gift of giving getting off on a whole other sh debacle. But let's continue. You've stated Frustrated. that the president stands by his comment from the 2020 campaign that he never once discussed his son's overseas business dealings with his son. And you stood at that podium yeah. and you reaffirmed that. Do you stand by your reaffirmation? I, what I will say is nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And I will leave it there. Anything else, what? I will refer you to the White House Counsel. This is not a change? I just answered the question. You asked, you just asked me, do, does my statement change? I just told you nothing has changed. That's answering the question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Stephen. I'm calling on your colleague right now. Go ahead. Thank you. To, to follow up on my colleague, is there anything that you can say with regard to this text message and what the president's son was alleging? Was the president there or not? I would refer you to my colleagues at the White House Council. They have addressed this, and I refer you to them. Go ahead. Green, have you spoken to the president about this? Have you asked him whether he was there with his son on July 30th? This is not a conversation that I've had with the president. Again, I would refer you to the White House Council. Do you plan to have that conversation no. with the president? No. Did the president speak with the attorney general at all last I can't, night? I, 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 I cannot say uh, if the president uh, had had a conversation with the attorney general last night. What I can refer you to is the White House Counsel's Office as it relates to the uh, allegations. Uh, they've already addressed this. This is something for them to deal with. I refer you to the Department of Justice on anything else if you don't want to speak to the White House Counsel's Office. And there was reporting earlier in the week that after the plea agreement was reached by Hunter Biden that the president felt relieved that that part of it was behind him. Is that true? Can you speak I can't to speak to that. I cannot speak to the president's mindset. Again, I would refer you to the White House Counsel's Office. Okay. Dude. <laughs> there is so much there. Where to start? One, obviously, she's not going to answer any questions. But the big thing for her here 
is notice how she's separating herself from all this. She won't even talk to the president about this because she doesn't want to be implicated in this whole thing either. It makes sense from her end of not being able to answer any questions, not even willing to talk to the president because she knows. Oh, she knows. Wow. Hey, did he talk to the attorney general? No idea. That's a big deal. That's a big freaking deal. Oh, uh, Joe Biden never talked to the attorney general regarding Donald Trump. We're separating ourselves. And all of a sudden, you, you can't answer questions of when Joe Biden talked to the attorney general about this whole thing. Really? Now all of a sudden you don't know, Kareen? Sounds a little sus, man. Because when, when that whole thing of Donald Trump being raided by Mar-a-Lago, you had a lot, a lot to say about that. The Hatch Act all of a sudden was not a thing. And then, oh, I don't know, when he gets indicted by, uh, by New York City, Alvin Bragg, you had a lot to say about that. You knew all about the attorney general then. Oh, you know all about Joe Biden, the conversation that we had with Merrick Garland, whether that did or did not happen. Oh, you knew a lot about that. The Hatch Act didn't apply to that one, did it? Oh, oh, Miami. Oh, Jack Smith. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you had a lot to say about uh, Joe Biden. You had a lot to say about Merrick Garland, that whole conversation, whether it did or did not happen. The Hatch Act didn't apply to that one, neither did it. Now, all of a sudden, these text messages come out. All of a sudden, the dots are being connected by the press, and you don't have anything to say. All of a sudden, you don't know any conversations between Joe Biden and the Attorney General like 24 hours ago. Suspicious, folks. We all freaking see it. It's out there in the open now. We all have seen it. Us conservatives, those are, that are in this whole thing, we've seen it for a long damn time, and now it's coming out. Finally, it's coming out. Nothing's going to be done about it. Let us know what you think about this in the comment section below, folks. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.